Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about a feel that one of our students actually approached us with about feeling like he was hitting the ball with his right shoulder. All right, Milo, so hitting the ball with your right shoulder, this was actually from a TikTok follower, believe it or not. So his comment was in response to a video I did with this long, long uh, orange rod. It was it's called uh, stick mobility, I believe. Uh -huh. Basically, I kind of pinned it in my left arm here, sort of on my chest, and then kind of put my right hand on here, and I actually made it sort of like this, where I extended uh -huh. my right wrist, and then basically turn, and basically got the, the square face back to the ball strictly with my rotation, okay? So, to him, it gave the appearance that I was basically hitting the ball with my right shoulder. What do you think about that one? That can actually be a really good feel. Is it something that actually happens? No. But a lot of times the things that we're after feel-wise aren't what actually happens, but they make what we want to have happen happen a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So I really like that idea of feeling like you're taking and hitting the ball with that right shoulder. Yeah. So that, that could be an, an awesome feel. You can see, I actually feel like I come close. I don't, but I feel like I do. Well, your arm structure and your wrist structure has to match up, right? Because yeah. so many of you guys at home who move up into the ball and the shoulder gets high, that just isn't going to work, and then you got to extend and throw angles, right? If you're doing this in transition, yeah. then you're going to have to do something crazy to be able to put the club on the ball. But if you're transitioning where you're gaining some hip flexion, mm -hmm. As you're pivoting, you're going to be able to come a lot closer to having that happen. Now, we really don't want that to exactly happen because we want to get the energy out into the club and let the club at some point sling off. Sling. Yeah. But for those of you who are doing this kind of thing, putting force into the golf club and doing those kind of things, which there's a lot of you, that could be an awesome feeling of feeling that added flex in the, the hip and turning and almost feeling like you're gonna hit it with yeah. that. Well, what I like it, what it does too, is if you can go to that impact position, is it's pushing this left shoulder back up and around, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, from down the line, a lot of you guys too are, you're talking about your left shoulder moving to up, right? As you transition or in the downswing. Well, the up isn't so bad, it's really, you're lacking the rotation to match it, yep. right? Because if it just goes up, now you're tilting. Well, it's, it's, it's symmetrical, hopefully. Yeah. So as we're turning, we don't want to feel like we're going this way mm -hmm. up too early. We also don't really want to feel like we're going <laughs> this way because that would be... Down and round. <laughs> well, for some people, that feeling actually probably makes them look about normal. Yeah. So it just depends on where you're at in the spectrum. But ideally, what we want to see for real is we want this to be kind of a symmetrical pivoting action. Mm -hmm. And that's why... You know, hug drills are so great, and I actually put a tee in my club here. I know you've done this one before. This is what we call a merry-go-round drill, right? I know you've done this with uh, some of your kids before, right? I have. There you go. That's kind of cool. Um, now, the lie angle is a little too upright for that, but... <laughs> well, I hit it with my pivot. I yeah. hit it with my right shoulder. So that could be a, a good sort of visual, too. But, but yeah, are we are we legitimately hitting it with our right shoulder no but if you're in your right side bend and if your arm and wrist structure kind of match that where you have a little right arm fold and you've got the right wrist extension that can be a good sort of feeling driving that right shoulder down and around getting your left shoulder back up and around to kind of keep you uh, on sure. plane right for many many players I think that's probably an awesome feel hope you like this video if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll see you again soon.